Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. So a thing that I had wanted to talk to you guys about also is that if you guys are into um, journal planning, these are great. Um, I do all my goals in here, like ideas that I have for YouTube. Um, this isn't the one that I use all the time. The one that I use it is in my purse just because I like to carry it with me. I ended up getting these from the dollar store. So make sure to check out your dollar store and see what they have. And I also ended up getting this one right here. This one's super cute. The pages are, I'll show you the pages just because some of you guys might want to see what it is, but yeah. Another thing that I had wanted to share with you guys was matcha. Um, it is a matcha green tea almond latte. So I wanted to try this just because my cousin's girlfriend, she had recently came to the house to get her hair done. And I was like, you know what? And she was like raving about how much she loves matcha. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this. And yeah, so I'm gonna try it. I haven't tried it yet. I'm nervous to see if I like it, whether or not, just because, I don't know, I'm just kind of nervous about that. If you guys kind of like more food vlogs, I can, oh, if you guys kind of like more food vlogs, uh, make sure to check out my second channel, just because I, me and my fiance, we are eating a lot on that channel. So usually all of our vlogs consist of us going out to eat of some sort whether it's a snack or like so if you guys want to find out some good restaurant spots make sure to check that out just because a majority of the time we're stopping somewhere for food this is really grainy <sighs> i don't know if i like this but yeah so i wanted to share with you guys my snack thing that i did get so i could try it out um just because you know i'm a foodie i love food so i just wanted to share with you guys um my snack for the day okay so let's go ahead and jump into today's video all right you guys i did want to show you guys my swatches just because i know a lot of you guys were super interested in these swatches just because yeah but so basically what i like to do is just do one glossy one matte i had touched them all up and i had a ton of questions of where i got them um i did get these from skyline beauty i did have my local nail supply that they do have them if you guys were to purchase them through there you guys are able to lose use my lorena 10 code um and you guys will be able to save 10 percent. so make sure to check them out but i did find that i saved more money going to skyline nail supplies um i don't know if the prices have changed because it's been a while since i've done these swatches so i mean price could fluctuate of course but so make sure to check out skyline nail supplies just because this is where i did purchase them they ended up coming out basically a dollar each and i ended up getting 10 of them so um, I still didn't fill out all of them. I do still have some put away, but um, yeah. So being able to show them what they look like matte and glossy, um, you guys are able to kind of pair up different things. Like what I like to do is kind of hold the glitters together and whatnot. Like, okay, this looks good with that. Or like, this looks good with this. Like so, and then my clients could hold it up to their finger like this. Um, so they are able to see um, what color goes best. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Um, I wanna show you guys kinda like what I'm using first is I'm going to be using this glitter from Montage Nail Supplies. Montage Nail Supplies is the code that I just told you guys about and this is the 10, the 10 percent off that you're able to use with Lorena 10 um, and then I also have my Tracy's nails unfortunately I don't have a code with them but I do want to try and work on getting a code with them just for you guys just because um her products are really really good so if you guys are able to save 10% on top of the 60 color collection you guys will be able to get a lot of polishes for like more bang for your buck basically so I'm going to be using take it off super beautiful color in syrup super beautiful it's perfect for those fall colors and then i'm going to be using these creations it's an eight t-i-o-n and then it's going to be a rose gold color so basically all of their things are rose gold and you have to go by the number so this one's number eight you have a few more of those but this is what it looks like creations you could also get this at montage nail supplies um, I kind of want to put a disclaimer out just because I don't want you guys thinking just because now I have a code with Montage Nail Supplies is that like, oh, like I'm just trying to sell it just because I make profit off of it. Just because with that 10% of you guys spending it, or the 10% 
it does help me and it also helps you. So you guys are able to get 10% off and like I technically like make 10%. Um, but I do want to show you guys real quick my collection. This is before I have ever became an ambassador. So I don't want people coming for me and telling me that, oh, like you're just um, reviewing it just so you could get paid. No, that's not the thing whatsoever. Um, I've loved their stuff since the beginning. I've been shopping there ever since I got out of nail school. And honestly, their products just keep getting better and better as time goes on. But so some of the their um, containers, they don't have labels on them just because um, it was like when they were first starting out. So I have glitters from way back when. And I even have some stuff from when they, because before they were montage nail supplies, they were called safari nails. If you guys have been with them for a long time, you guys already know that. But let me go ahead and show you guys my collection. Okay, you guys, so this is basically all of my stuff. I do have some stuff back there, and they used to also even sell. They used to sell in these containers right here, but then they upgraded all of their stuff to these ones down here, which I like a lot better because you get more in there. Um, these were just so tiny. I would find myself having to go back to the store and getting these like every other week, so I would end up having a whole bunch of these small little containers everywhere and they would just fall all over the place so i'm glad they switched and did that but i do want to show you guys all of the stuff that i have in my drawer i paid for with my own money so um i just kind of wanted to do a disclaimer see all of my stuff it's st some of them still has like the prices on it no supplies even some of them mm, they don't have a label on it but they are montage nail supplies acrylics um some of these mylars um but they even have some press-on nail stuff. So if you guys are getting into press-on nails, they do have some of those. They have a lot of different tips. Um, they even have their montage acrylic coffin tips. Uh, stuff. They even have these creations. I only have four of those. And then this is like my stones and stuff that I get from them. And then that's where I even have their top coat. But yeah, so I have a lot of stuff from them. Even my resin from montage um so yeah you guys i do shop with them quite a bit ever since oh and their cuticle oil bomb you guys this stuff is amazing i just wanted to put that out there a lot of or all of the stuff that i have is i've bought in so far it's not something that they have given me i've bought in everything that i've gotten from them so this is the glitter that i have i wish they did have names for each glitter just so but you guys could go in i don't think they sell the glitter online i don't believe they do you guys could double check on that but and then i'm going to be using tracy's nail syrup and then take it off and then the creations in number eight so let's go ahead and get started i went this it kind of comes out a little bit thick go ahead and get take it off you guys this color is bomb both of these colors even glossy and matte so pretty let me know if you guys want to see a video on how I prep my nails for my press on nail business just because I can do a video for you guys on that. So if you guys are having trouble with that, if you guys are selling press on nails, uh, make sure to comment down below. So I went ahead and put take it off on those and I wanted for the other two, I do want to use syrup. I'm super excited. Oh, syrup, look at that. You guys, this is amazing. I love the way syrup looks. Mm, so good. I feel like these are like totally fall vibes. I really, 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 really love these. The colors, honestly, Tracy's nails, I always feel like she did such an amazing job with her color selection just because I feel like these are all colors that clients they do wear. I don't feel like the only ones out of the collection that I don't feel like my clients gravitate towards is the neons just because a lot of my clients like... They don't like how um, dark they feel like it makes them. But honestly, neon, I feel like it's so gorgeous. Like I have a couple of clients that they'll do neon. But for a majority of them, um, they really like to do the... They like to do the nudes or lighter colors. Or some only like to do darker colors. So, oh my gosh, you guys. this I'm already living for that. Look at that. Let me go ahead and put these in the light. I'm going to go ahead and put them in for 30 seconds. And the light that I do use is Artistic 360 Pro. I'm going to go ahead and just set this over this. And I'm going to go ahead and just move my gels out of the way so I don't end up messing those up. I have been drinking coffee 
all morning, um, or all day actually, it's not even morning anymore. I've been super crazy about coffee, so I've been like just drinking and drinking and drinking it. Um, I don't, I'm not really too crazy about, um, I don't know, going to Starbucks and stuff. Like, yeah, Starbucks is nice, like, every so often, but I don't, I really don't have time in the mornings, to be completely honest with you guys, just because I, I have to drop off the baby and, like, work and whatever, so usually if I go out to eat or anything, like, it's honestly usually always, um, the days that I am completely off and it's just me and the baby and like sometimes I'll have like the urge to go out to eat and so I'll take him with me and then we kind of just since nothing is open where I live um we just honestly go in the back of the car and I'll I'll order my food park my car hop in the back with the baby and then after I'll eat so that's kind of like my outings have been just because I mean I'm I don't really like going out to eat out to eat by myself with the baby just because I've been hearing all these stories of like people getting their kids snatched and stuff like and I'm really not trying to let that happen like I get so scared going out of the house without John um if you guys don't know if you guys are new to the channel john is my significant other <laughs> but yeah so i get scared kind of going out with him like even let alone to get gas like in the past year like i probably pumped gas by myself like maybe like three times and the year is almost over so john he's like super um he worries about me a lot so he really doesn't like me having to go get gas by myself just because he worries about me and the baby and, and making sure like we're okay and whatnot so i mean i appreciate that but honestly it's made me even a bigger scaredy cat so <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and close these if you guys feel like you guys need another coke by all means go ahead put another coke girl but another 30 seconds All right, you guys, the 30 seconds is up. I am going to be doing an ombre, and you guys know these are my go-to cosmetic sponges. If you guys are using polish, um, I wouldn't recommend these just because sometimes, like, with the polish, when it dry, like, regular polish when it dries, it gets stuck, and then, like, when you're dabbing, like, a chunk of the sponge will come out because the, the polish in here or on the sponge, it will be drying while you're dabbing. So as you're, like, keep on going, like, it just ends up, like, a clump of the sponge will come out and I mean you guys could do like two cop or uh one top coat and then lightly buff and then go ahead and do a final top coat but if you guys don't have to I'd rather save you guys time to be honest with you just because yeah no one wants to spend extra time doing what are doing that you know so um so these things are really these things are really good because they actually come off like look they're all stuck together so it keeps your drawers nice and organized and you just rip off what you need i do keep them in the bag i want to find a container to put these in with a lid just because um in the drawers you know glitter is just everywhere like glitter goes all over the place like and so a lot of times oops look this one got messed up but yeah glitter it goes all over the place and i really um make sure that i keep those closed just because i don't want to be doing an ombre and then that like i don't know like just the nails end up being all like funky just because there's like glitter in there like i hate when i accidentally get glitter or like a fuzz or anything like that so i really try to keep everything nice and tidy um just so i don't have to worry about it so i loaded my sponge sorry i was out of frame but i'll load it and then after i'll kind of like load the rest go ahead and start dabbing and you guys need to pay attention to where you placed how high you wanted your ombre just because if you end up starting your ombre all the way up here then there's going to hardly be a blend section you could always go up um but start lower and then work your way up so you could kind of see like where it's starting at i'm gonna go ahead and put that into the light for 30 seconds and I don't need to load my sponge just yet. Usually, um, if you guys are doing two nails, after you do two nails, I do recommend like loading it again. Um, I do want to get an airbrush. Let me know if you guys are airbrush users and what you guys think of them. Would you guys recommend them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What are pros and cons? 
um, just because that's something that I do really want to try and learn just so I could share with you guys. Like if it does make my job easier, I do want to share it with you guys, of course, or even if it makes my job harder. So you guys know um, what to expect. Like if you guys are buying one, you know, like why waste your money and time like in the efforts of looking for one if you really don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load it again. The ones that for an airbrush that I have been looking for is the ones that they um, they actually have, uh, like, there's no, um, what is it, like the pump or whatever. You guys, I haven't, so I've been trying a lot of snacks lately, and honestly, none of them have been hitting besides the, the last video, like when I had did the pistachio, like that was super bomb. That's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds, but the pistachios were super bomb. Like I was in love with those, like they were so freaking good, but in all honesty, like everything else, like that matcha tea that I just showed you guys, I don't know, like it was so gritty and like, I don't know, like. I don't know if matcha is supposed to taste like that because one of my other friends like they like matcha too and everybody raves about it and with me like honestly I haven't been feeling it so let me know what you guys think so I haven't needed to load my sponge yet you guys will know when you guys need to load your sponge again just because no more pigment will be coming off of it so I'm gonna go ahead and enter this into the lamp again enter <laughs> i kind of wanted to show you guys this just because it's sitting here but i always get a lot of questions on this and basically what this is is actually a drawer from the 99 cent store so you're able to put all your designs in there um i did get this set or this idea from someone else but they were selling it on their website for like super overpriced but if you guys could save your money um do so you know even if you guys wanted you guys could cut down clear acrylic things and put them in here and like so it could be like kind of layered or something like if you guys are crafty to do that I don't trust myself so yeah but and it's a case so they don't get dusty or nothing so if you guys are trying to if you guys make your own press on nails and you guys are trying to keep them nice and clean um you guys could do that just make sure you you get this um the really good as adhesive tape um it's always linked down below so if you guys have any questions on any links or anything like that, make sure to just comment down below. I'm always like down to help you guys out because if it works for me, um, I'd rather share my knowledge, you know, and help you guys out just because it does make it easier for you guys to find them instead of you guys having to search and look at reviews and stuff like that. Um, basically your review for you, you know, I would never have you guys waste your money on something that isn't worth spending on just because I don't like wasting my money and if a product is trash it's trash you know like I'm not gonna go and like I don't know like just give false information what for you know but okay I ended up having to load my sponge again I might dab this a few more times usually like with nails I will do it um if I am working on a client or like working on a set I will put the set on two things so then I could ombre and then like go back and forth um but yeah um so it makes it faster so I'll be like working on one hand right now as that's in the light and by the time that's done I'll be done dabbing and then after I'll switch off um so like pretty much no time is wasted um i know it kind of seems like a lot having to do like the dabbing and whatnot but honestly it is um i don't know it's kind of therapeutic to me just to see it all kind of come together because it's like to see it like even being more opaque i know some people they'll do like a flash cure but in my case i do find that like doing the flash cure um i don't know i kind of just like doing the 30 seconds better I want to find another matte top coat because I've been on this one quite a bit. Um, Montage Nail Supply, they did come out with one that they said is pretty bomb and it looks good. And then um, there's um, a girl that is in my area that she had actually came out with her own line. And her stuff looks bomb. So I'm like, okay, like I want to try some of her stuff. And her matte top coat, let me tell you, it is bomb. So... Um, the reason why I stick with Koopa Matte Top Coat is, again, because when I am working with certain things, I need it just, like, I don't know, I feel like they work hand in hand. So, 
that being said, like, I don't know, I kind of just stick with the same thing, unfortunately. But, I mean, I'm always down for reviews of things, of what I think of matte top coats and whatnot. So, matte top coat, you guys already know, like, matte top coats are my thing. If Good thing for gel, um, gel polishes, just because if that wasn't cured, you guys, imagine having to put this over regular polish and then it's all jacked up. You guys got, or like, if I have, um, glitter on it, I would have wiped and messed up my... I would have wiped it and then messed up my coats of polish. So, honestly, if you guys aren't on the gel yet, make sure to do so because you won't regret it. And honestly, Tracy's Nails, they were the only brand that I feel like you're able to buy it in, like, a whole kit. I don't know if, like, I know, like, the Oak one, the one that I was telling you guys about, like, how she's my, like, a local nail tech that started her own brand. Um with her stuff like i think she might also sell hers in a like a kit if you guys wanted but i don't know like i kind of think that or i haven't really priced hers but honestly tracy's nails at the time like it was a better value than getting opi because at first when i first started with the gels it was opi and i was obsessed with opi but then there were just like things that happened with opi that it just I don't know it just it just bothered me you know so um and the price point of tracy's nails and opi it's a better buy so if you guys are getting the 60 nail polishes at once honestly i promise you you guys won't regret it like i love all of my tracy's nails you guys already know that if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know i love her stuff so i wanted to get the kit of all like the glitter ones that she came out with because they look so good and i feel like my clients would love them so um i know she's not back opening or she's not opening her business again until october um so yeah i'm super excited to what she has out to offer this this creations i don't think i put it in the lamp far enough so it's not the product that's coming off in here it's just because it's my fault because i didn't put it all the way in Alright you guys, so that's going to go ahead and go in for another 30 seconds. I'm going to, after I do the 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and spin it around. Okay, you guys, I lied about using this montage glitter. I thought I was going to sprinkle it a little bit. You know what? I don't know. I'm like, I want to show you guys it because honestly, it's like the perfect fall color. It looks super, super pretty. Um, the camera's not even doing it justice. I felt like it would have matched with that perfectly, but mm, I felt like I really love this. I thought I was going to sprinkle this on top of that just to give it kind of like a different look, you know, like customize that glitter a little bit. But honestly, on its own, it looks so beautiful. Do you know what? Maybe I should try my Boann brush. Boann really came through for me the last one on the, on the, my last video. So let's go ahead and try this because I want the line to be pretty thin. Um, I do feel like this one it does fan out a little bit once product goes in there, so you guys could kind of see like even with product on here, it's thinner. So. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and this gel, let me tell you guys, look how beautiful that looks. And with gel, the great thing about it is if you mess up, you guys could always start over. So...
so again dot on here i like using this just because using the corner of the brush honestly with this smallest stone and having it being matte i'd rather be clean um okay and then luckily with this glue you guys could kind of poke it around a little bit and move it